So far, no one can confirm if the claim of Sinai province, the Islamic State affiliate in Egypt, is true. Sinai released a photo on social media that appears to show the severed head of 30-year-old Croatian Tomislav Salopik lying on his body. Salopik, who worked for a French company in Egypt, was kidnapped in this desert area outside Cairo on July 22nd. Sinai province demanded the release of Muslim women from Egyptian jails in exchange for the man's life. Croatian Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic says it's his duty to tell the people what officials have seen, a horrific image that they are trying to verify. I don't know if we will be able to confirm it in the following days, but what we see doesn't look good. It looks awful. Residents of Salopik's hometown in Croatia, like Goran Blizenovic, aren't sure what to think. I still don't believe it because nothing's proven. Everyone is hoping that he will come home. I still don't believe it. I hope he will come back to his wife and children. Father Ivica Krizanovic says members of his congregation should seek hope in prayer. We as believers cannot fall into discouragement like our adversaries. But with prayer, we need to rise above the feeling of hatred. Sinai province, which has carried out attacks across Egypt, evolved from the militant group Ansar Beit al-Makdis, or supporters of Jerusalem. They pledged allegiance to Islamic State last year.